Dozens of vultures are dropping dead in a neighborhood surrounding the town of Fuquay Varina's water tower. Volunteers with a local wildlife refuge believe someone may be poisoning the birds. WRL's Matt Tallhelm is live in that neighborhood. Matt. Yeah, Deborah, first I want to tell you, we're not going to show you anything up close, what we saw out in this neighborhood today with all of those dead birds. But the American Wildlife Refuge from Raleigh came out here. They got a call saying they were all these dead birds out here. I want to show you, you can see some of the feathers right here. And on the other side of this fence, there are these black imprints in the grass. That's where they found these dead vultures. They found seven of them in this backyard alone. And as they walked around this neighborhood, they found a whole lot more. What you're going to see is very shocking. This is where we're finding dead vultures. Steve Stone with the American Wildlife Refuge documented the discovery of dead vultures as he walked around this neighborhood in Fuquay, Verena. We found about 50 vultures dead yesterday. The carcasses were scattered in yards like they dropped right out of the sky. Stone found others tossed in a graveyard of sorts. There were some piles in the woods that Apparently, the people just picked up the bodies and threw them in this pile. The bodies of the birds are all within view of the Fuquay Varina water tower, where the town hangs vulture effigies. And the effigy is a, uh, a stuffed vulture. To ward off the living birds that were roosting and dropping waste down the tower. And we're trying to make sure that that doesn't uh, create any problems with water quality or damage the infrastructure. That kind of sent a message to the people in the area that it's okay for vultures to be dead. Stone is collecting the carcasses in these trash bags. It's not a pretty sight. To take for testing to figure out what's killing the vultures. He says the deaths of these scavengers will lead to bigger problems in town. What, 39,000 pounds a year of dead animals that they clean up? I think a little bit of poop on your windshield is worth that. Back out here live, the town says let those effigies that are hanging up there from the water tower do their job and get these vultures away. They're reminding people it is also illegal in the state of North Carolina to kill a buzzard or a turkey vulture. I did reach out to the State Wildlife Commission to see if they had any information about these, and they tell me that they believe it's almost certainly avian influenza, the bird flu, causing all of these deaths. They say they've actually responded to similar uh, bird deaths because of bird flu out here back in November. What an interesting story. Matt Tallhelm reporting live in Fuquay, Verena. Thank you, Matt. And as a matter of fact, birds dropping from the sky in eastern North Carolina do appear to be infected with avian flu. Possum Wood Acres Wildlife Sanctuary in Onslow County says it received an influx of concerning calls over the weekend after birds started to drop from the sky. They say cold weather tends to help the virus spread. Bird flu cannot be treated. Experts say this particular strain is highly contagious. We